the human experience that we all have is the basic emotions is the same. When I feel like I'm in, in, inadequate because I am a trans person to my um, significant other, that's the same thing a fat girl feels like when she feels like she's, she's not the ideal beauty for her husband that she's been married to because she's gained weight since when they first met. The same emotion in those, both of those stories, the same emotion is the same thing. Insecurity. Fear that that part of the human experience is a thread that put us all together. She didn't have to be a trans to understand that emotion. I believe that my purpose in life and a lot of trans people's life is to be that thread to show the connection of humanity. We come from a vast history of being respected in the community. We were, the two-spirited people were the healers um, in certain cultures, in Indian cultures, in um, many cultures. If you go back and look at the history of transgender people, we come from a space of reverence and respect and connecting people. And connecting people because we fit at the intersection of so many deep, different type of lives, gay, straight, um, man, woman, whatever, you know, I feel that that is our purpose on this earth. We are connecting people. We are allowing um, our life experiences to show others how to get through difficulties, how to overcome those fears and those beliefs of I can't do it. Because when, when we become successful and we are one of the marginalized groups in the society, somebody else who is not as marginalized can say, well, if they can do it, I can do it. We are those people that put it together. It's going to be some conflict in getting those people together and see the connection. There's going to be conflict. There's going to be some hurt and some digging deep into the wound to heal it. There's going to be it. Um... My good, good friend, Lewis Mitchell, he's a trans man, and he put it so eloquently. He was like, we're like staples. You have two separate pieces of paper. You have two separate pieces of paper that you're trying to put together. We are the staples. When you take that staple and say, boom, that staple sticks through this one, and it sticks through this one. It tears a little bit, but it puts them together. That tear is going to hurt. It's going to, it's going to, um, you're going to feel it. It's going to change that person and it's going to change you. You have to bend to get these together. You know, that staple is like this and then I have to blend to bring them together. So it's going to change you. You can't be just stiff and not willing to change yourself. If you're trying to change other people, you're going to bend to put these people together, but it's going to do what your purpose was. You're going to bring those things together. You feel what I'm saying? He put it so eloquently, and I really love that. I think that is what my belief is for my own life and for a lot of trans people's life. We are at the intersection of so many things that we can bring healing and understanding to genders, races, um, sexual orientations, whatever. We can bring it there. I think that's my purpose. I think that that is our purpose. That's why we are the gender variation that God put us here. That's the my, what I think. That's what I believe and what I believe about myself and my demographic of people.